Assalamu alaikum dears. Myself SLK. Here in this section, we'll be just learning the cutting lane determination of a spiral or helix bar. But why should I learn this approach? Remember, the spiral bar can be seen in different forms in construction work, like this one. This is of course just a spring. Now what if I just need the weight of the spring? Of course, I can say I just need the cutting length of the spring. Then I can use, of course, a nice formula and some plug and chug to determine its weight. But the spiral bar is not limited to a spring. Remember, the spiral bar or helix bar can be used in round columns, in pairs, in and pile, of course. Because the performance of spiral bar is better than tie bars in round columns, in pair and pile, of course. Our approach is not to talk about the advantages of a spiral bar. Remember, our approach is just the cutting length determination. So let's do this, okay? Let's consider for a moment if we have a spiral bar having height as just 15 feet, the top and bottom diameter are also given like 4 feet, of course. Remember, the pitch is also given, which is just the perpendicular distance between two turns, and this is, of course, just 3 feet. Now, what's the length of given spiral bar? Remember, for this approach, I can use a nice plug and chug in formula like n times square root of c square plus p square. Here n represents the number of turns, c is just a circumference of spiral bar, and the p just represents the pitch. Let me just calculate n first. Remember, I can get the n if I just divide the total height of the spiral by pitch. The height is just 15 feet, and the pitch is just 3 feet. So, 15 divided by 3 is just of course 5. So, the number of turns in the spiral bar are of course just 5. Now, let's calculate the circumference over here. Remember, the top and bottom diameter are the same. So, I can use of course the circumference of a circle like pi d or 2 pi r, no problem. The diameter of the spiral bar is just of course 4 feet. So, the circumference must be pi times 4. And this is of course just 12.566 feet. Now let's do some plug and chug in the given formula to get the cutting length of the spiral bar. Or you can also say just the total length of this bar, okay? Remember the number of turns are just 5, so 5 times square root of c square, remember the c is given which is just 12.566 feet plus the pitch, the pitch is just 3 feet, so plus 3 square. Now do some maths or use your calculator, of course we can get the length of the given helix. Let me just use my calculator a little bit over here because this calculation is just a little important. Alright, this one. This is of course the square root and 12.566 square plus 3 square equals 12.9 times 5. Of course, this is just 64.59 feet. So the length of this helix is of course just 64.59 feet and this is it of course we have done it thank you guys for watching see you next time and wassalam